guys, it's HCG Chica. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a recipe for chocolate cake that's low carb. It's called Healthy Flourless Chocolate Cake. Um, and the base, of, the base of the cake is actually black beans. And as you'll see, there's no uh, regular sweeteners like honey or sugar. Um, and I'll show, you, I'll show you what we use instead. Okay? So here's a quick peek at all the uh, ingredients we'll be using. We'll be using six tablespoons of cocoa. We'll be using uh, either five, uh, five large eggs or six medium eggs. Six tablespoons butter. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. One can of black beans. Uh, baking powder, one teaspoon. One half teaspoon of baking soda. One, um, one half teaspoon sea salt. And then the sweeteners we'll be using, um, I ended up using xylitol and stevia. I used a half cup of xylitol. And this stevia I used two teaspoons of. The stevia you will have to vary based on what kind of stevia you use because the potency of all the different brands is, is radically different. This one's a little more mild and that's why I'm using more. Um, other than that, there's just a, a tablespoon of water, which we have here. And let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is take three of our five or six eggs and put them in your blender. After that, you're just going to dump in your drained black beans in one pan. And we're just going to blender that up. your um, one tablespoon of vanilla extract to that. Okay, so so much for that part. Next we're going to take our six tablespoons of butter and we're going to um, blend that up with our xylitol and our stevia. So we want a half cup of xylitol. You could also experiment with other sweeteners. This seems to work pretty well. And for my type of stevia, I ended up using two teaspoons. It makes it a little sweeter, but you will need to check with the type that you use. It will definitely vary depending on the brand. And now we're just going to um, beat this really well. Next we're going to add our remaining eggs and beat them one at a time. All right, next we're going to mix our six tablespoons of cocoa powder with our baking powder and baking soda. So um, I like to get the lumps out, so I put it through the little, whatever this is called, the mill or sieve thing to make sure it's, because uh, it often has, see that, lumps and stuff. So it gets that out. And then we were going to use half a teaspoon of baking soda. one teaspoon baking powder. All right, we're just going to mix that up. Okay, 
so basically now we just have three mini concoctions the bean concoction the butter and eggs concoction and the cocoa powder concoction we're just going to mix the three together and we'll have our cake ready to go in the oven into the bowl, we're just going to um, beat it a little longer until it's all mixed in. Last, we're going to add our one tablespoon of water, beat it a little more. Okay, so now it's ready to go into the cake pan. Um, I think any pan really will do. I have this spring form type pan. Um, I'm just going to spray the bottom with uh, one of those non-stick sprays. And then here you can see the batter, it's very liquid. So um, just so you can kind of tell what the texture should look like. Just pour that in. Next we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven at 325. See, I've already got it set here. And, um, Probably for between 40 and 50 minutes, you'll know when it's done when the uh, when you stick a knife in it and it comes out smooth. I think mine generally takes about 45 minutes. So I'll show you what it looks like after it's done. Okay, folks. So here's the finished uh, chocolate cake. As you can see, it has a beautiful rich brown color, and I'm going to cut into it. And here's an actual piece. You can see the inside. Um, it's very moist and it tastes just like chocolate cake. It doesn't taste like beans at all. I don't think anybody would ever be able to guess that they didn't have beans in it, that they had beans in it. So anyway, I think you guys should try it. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like it. Um, this recipe is great for P4. And also, you know, if you're feeling desperate on P3, um, this won't do too much damage since there's no flour. And even though beans do have carbs, they also have a good amount of fiber. Um, so it's definitely one of the better carbs um, to cheat with. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoy it and talk to you soon.